I'll start by saying that there's a lot of noise or maybe better phrased as options in the video analytics space. There's on-camera analytics, point solutions such as tripwire, license plate recognition, face recognition, people counting, a lot of different options out there. VMS providers themselves have some level of inherent video analytics. And of course, there are a few other analytic platform vendors out there. However, really the robust feature rich platform that BriefCam has developed supports forensic, real-time, and business intelligence capability. And the research capability is a module within our system that's actually an embedded business intelligence tool. So really, BriefCam's advantage is a comprehensive, high-performing solution that contains multiple capabilities. And as I mentioned just previously, for our investigative functions, situational awareness, and also operational decision-making, this combination or this trifecta of tools address many use cases across many verticals and really position BriefCam as a leader in the space. I actually wouldn't mind turning it over to Danny here just quickly to give us a quick review of our research module, one component of our platform to share just one example of how we differentiate from a business intelligence perspective. Great. Thanks, Stephanie. The research module allows us to take the data that is being recorded and stored by the video management system and really extract additional value out of that. So what we can do is take all of the statistics and you know, all of the great stuff that you've seen BriefCam do in the review side, searching for vehicles and people, specific colors, directions, descriptions, being able to aggregate all of the metadata there and present it to people that need to be able to consume that information but don't necessarily want to watch hours and hours of video for it. So being able to take you know, the number of people or vehicles that come through a specific area. What areas do they go to? How long do they spend in those specific areas? What pathways do they take throughout a campus or a building? This gives information outside of just the regular security space and it begins to add value to other entities within the organization. So you can see an example like this, which is retail trends. You can start to see you know, how many people came into a specific area, what the breakdown was of men versus women, you know, all of these things we can detect very well in the review module, all of that transfers over to research as well. Another example that we've got here is an, an intersection analysis where we can tell you the hotspot areas are using heat maps and directional paths. From an intersection perspective, how many vehicles went to the north, south, east, or west? What was their average speed? What was the breakdown of cars versus men, women, bicycles? pickup trucks, people towing boats. This gives really, really invaluable information to people that are doing things like planning for traffic, better understanding what their traffic looks like on a day-to-day -day basis, if there's changes that they need to make to their infrastructure or organization to better handle the load that they're seeing in there, being able to compare data that they get today versus data last week to see if they're doing advertisements or if they're making changes to see if those changes are being effective. So really just being able to leverage the data that's being recorded onto those hard drives already on the VMS side, and being able to extract that and provide value for other aspects of the organization.